up love, this is your girl Love, and I'm back with a new video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Subscribe below so you can be a part of the love game. And today's video was a highly requested video on how I styled my Outre Batik Peruvian Synthetic Wig. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this look. You would need no flat iron, all you need is some bobby pins. You would need some gel or some edge control and a comb and maybe a hard bristle brush so you can brush your hair. And that's pretty much it. And oh yeah, the wig, of course. This wig is very easy to blend with. So if you got curly hair, natural hair, straight hair, it's easy squeezy. Like it's so easy to do. I mean, it's just easy. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I styled it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you are interested in knowing how I styled this wig, this two strand twist style, please stay tuned. requested on how I do my half wig style in this picture everyone has been requesting me to do this style so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got my hair into this natural style hola loves it's your girl Kay love and as you can see I already got my two French braids going here you're welcome to do more cornrows if you like but two works best for me and then you're gonna go ahead and get started on your parts you want to do from ear to ear I already sectioned my section. You want to do just a small section. Once you have that section sectioned off, you're going to go ahead and put that away. And then you can bobby pin the back if you'd like. I leave them out because I just tuck them right under. The wig is so full, you're not even going to see the lumpiness in the back. And again, you're welcome to wear a wig cap, but in this video, I will not be wearing a wig cap. So once you have your braids all flat down, you're going to go ahead and take your wig out. This is the Uche Batik Peruvian Synthetic Wig in the color number 2. You can get this at your local beauty supply store. Now this is not a fresh wig. This wig is about 5 months old and I wear it off and on. So it looks a little dry but really for real for real, it's still actually is pretty good and it still looks nice to me and that's the thing I love about this wig like it doesn't get too ugly looking after a while like some wigs do like some wigs dry out really bad as you can see the wig has teeth combs inside already it has one in the front one in the back and they also have the adjustable strap so that wig don't go flying off everywhere okay so we want to make sure that wig is secured honey make sure you use your straps and make sure you use the combs so now what we're going to do is slap that wig right on our head, make sure it's secured. We're going to yank the back up with the teeth comb and then we're going to pull and tug in the front. So you want to make sure that you're actually using these to secure your wig because the wig will slide off. It is a half wig so it will slide off. Now you can double check to see if your part is still there and that you sectioned it in the right part and it might not be as perfect but as long as your part is somewhat noticeable you should be fine. And as you can see I'm going to go ahead and lock in my strap so that it's secured in the back. So the supplies that you'll need for this style is a rat tail comb, you're going to need some type of edge tamer, I have Gorilla Snot, you can use gel, and some bobby pins to secure your twist in place. And now what we're doing is you're going to go in and make a slanted part or a middle part, whichever you prefer, and we're going to go in with the snotty Gorilla Snot, y'all. This gel is like it's what it's really called gorilla snot it's really snotty anyway we're gonna go in around our edges and put as much as you like I put just enough I don't really go too much with it because again it does get hard and we're gonna go in with a handy dandy toothbrush I use a toothbrush for my edges but you're more than welcome to use just a regular brush so now I sectioned off the shorter part of the wig along with the front of my hair and we're doing a two strand flat twist it's very simple you take two parts 
little teeny parts of your hair in the front and you're twisting along your edges and you're grabbing and gripping the wig as well so you're blending it at the same time as you can see and it's just like if you was cornrowing but you're just doing a two strand twist which is way easier than cornrowing so if you know how to cornrow you know how to do this and if you know how to twist hair you can definitely do this so now once I'm done twisting I'm gonna go ahead and secure that with a bobby pin in the back of my hair and I'm gonna make sure that I secure it very well because the wig have loops in them in the back like little holes from the wefts so you want to make sure that you're actually securing it really really well and then you're just gonna go ahead and fluff that out and you know fluff it to your liking and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side purchase it online if you don't have access to a beauty supply store they, and they may be cheaper again this wig is very easy to style but when it comes out that pack sis it is like unbelievable that it's a synthetic wig but as days go by it does get a little bit thick and it does look it still looks good like this is this wig is like five months old and I've wore it over and over again it just all depends on how you maintenance your wigs one curl style but my hair is not as straight so I just wanted to show you guys the natural style that I do and then hi mama it's very full it has a lot of full it's lightweight and weigh down your hair your head or anything it comes with teeth in the front and teeth in the back and it comes with straps to secure the wig that's what I like about it also, also, it comes in one, it comes in the color one, two, a blonde in a number two, and a burgundy in a number two, so it has a mixed blend as well. And because the front is short on the wig, it's easy, it's easy to do the two strand twist. And also, I did layer my wig just a little bit. I manipulated it just a little bit, but again, the, sh the front is shorter than the back, so it's kind of easy to just, you know, twist along. But um, so I figured out that I want to come up with an end, a, a end outro. Is that <laughs> an ending, an end outro, not intro, an ending to my whatever, an ending to my channel as far as motivation when it comes to my subscribers. And it is going to be be bomb, be blessed. Be better and always be yourself. And I see you loves in my next video. Bye love.